In this section, we're going to learn how to create an Uber clone called Pick Me Up. And this app will recreate the controls of the Uber app, allowing the rider to request to be picked up, showing available cars in the area, and directing a car with live updates on the map to your location and then to your destination. To do this, we're going to use multiple Google Maps APIs. We'll create an Uber-like interface and we'll simulate available cars in your area. And we'll add a pickup marker that uses your current geolocation. We we'll use Google Map directions to send a car to your location. We'll update the arrival time as the car approaches, as well as the time it'll take for the car to get to the destination. And we'll animate the car's path in a slick interface. We'll allow the rider to enter a destination and then we'll use the Google Maps API geocode to turn those destinations into latitude and longitude coordinates. We'll present the destination options to the user and allow them to pick the closest match. Once we turn that destination into GPS coordinates, we'll show the route that the car is going to take and then we'll animate the car in the directions along that route. And after the rider has finished the trip, we'll prompt them to review the driver. Then we'll return the rider to the beginning state of the app to request to be picked up again. In summary, we're creating a full Uber clone experience from showing cars in your area to request to being picked up to dropping off at your destination and rating the experience. To do this, there's going to be complex data sharing between components. And we're going to show two ways to manage that kind of complex data interaction. And in the process, you're going to master how to use multiple Google Maps APIs. And finally, we'll show how to publish to the Android and Apple app stores. Mm -hmm.